This world has more mysteries than we can imagine. More stories than we can tell. More secrets than we can dream. It's time that we share to the world AR's discoveries. Hello and welcome to AR Discoveries, where we find the weirdest things in the world and bring it to you. I am your host, AR, as always, and today we'll be discussing something that's been taking the world by storm. We'll be discussing player unknowns, ba player unknowns, battlegrounds, mobile. Now, PUBG Mobile is basically the free game of PUBG on PC. It's really cool. It's got basically everything up to date right now. Uh, besides Sandhawk, which is the new map. Um, but what is the best way to play said game, PUBG Mobile? Well, I have it right here, as you can see on screen. It looks so fabulous, doesn't it? You see, Tencent, the creators of PUBG Mobile, created an emulator. So it's really cool, and it maps out the keys exactly like it would for... Um, your normal PC PUBG, so the exact same keys that you use for PC PUBG, you would use for PUBG Mobile. Basically, what Tencent did was they made an emulator that can run PUBG Mobile on your PC, laptop, whatever you want to call it. Um, and you don't need an emulator like Bluestacks or Nox or anything like that. It's official by Tencent. Link down in the description below if you want it. Um, basically what you do is you install it, you change the language from Chinese to English, it'll be the three little um, lines and the second last option would be your settings. Um, you just change your language from Chinese to English because Tencent is a Chinese company so you have to change it unless you understand Chinese then it's not a big problem. Um, so you would change that, you'd install the game, close it open it again and then it'll install the full file uh, close it open it again and then you can run it every single time there's a little keyboard icon next to it um, and the only thing you really have to do is click on um, reset defaults and then add a number three just above number two so that um, your handgun can be accessible because there's a new UI for pistols so you can hold three weapons now on PUBG mobile but um, as you can probably see on screen right now, this is what it looks like uh, on PC. I'm kind of watching some of it right now. It looks pretty cool. It's it's actually much smoother than what you would do on mobile because let's be honest, on mobile it's kind of hard moving around, focusing on the guy, shooting at the same time while you're moving. In this case, you would just be holding WASD and your mouse and over 300,000 people are playing it right now. Like. Over 300,000, 400,000 people are playing it on PC. Um, so it's kind of like a huge thing. So you won't be playing with bots or anything like that. You'll actually be playing against a lot of people. Uh, one thing that does stand out that seems to be cool is that if your friends don't have this emulator and you still want to play with them, you sign in with your account like you signed on mobile and you just invite them and they can play with you and you'll be playing against people playing on the emulator as well. Sure, it'll be harder for them because they have the joystick and tapping and everyone else has a mouse and keyboard, but they'll get by with a few deaths, it's fine. As you can see, it is pretty laggy on my screen because I do have about 700 ping as you can see on the top left corner, which kinda sucks when you're playing this game. Don't play with 700 ping, that's not good. That just means you're gonna die a lot and dying a lot means you're gonna rage and rage means something similar to Bennett Foddy which no one wants in their life another cool thing about this is that 
it updates as soon as you launch it. So if there is an update for Tencent emulator, it'll update automatically just like Steam does. Um, and then it'll launch the game and sometimes the game will like updates. For instance, now it'll update to 0.7, which I do have on mobile. And it's really cool. If you guys are struggling to get um, PUBG Mobile off of Google Play Store, just go on to pubgmobile.com and get the APK file. Same thing, less hassle. But um, that's all that we have time for today. Remember to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I mean, wait, we're not subscribing. This is not YouTube. This is a TV show. Crap. Okay, moving out to voice time. Stay tuned for the next episode for some more AR discoveries. I don't know what the heck that was. Let's never do that again. Okay, subscribe guys. Notifications turn on. Let's give that like button. Link in the description for the Tencent emulator. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.